No, Dana, thanks for the invitation. And also again, thanks for, uh, congratulations for the, for the, this important milestone that the Navigator has achieved this year. We hope that it's gonna be many years ahead of success. Uh, and we hope to be together with you. Uh, let me share my screen here. Can you see my screen? It's okay? Yes, everything okay. All right, so. Uh, so I will talk about a little bit about Wilson Sons. Wilson Sons is the largest uh, port logistical provider here in Brazil. Uh, we operate two container terminals, one in the south and one in the northeast. We have two logistic centers. Um, we have a fleet of 80 tugboats. We do have a ship agency covering almost all Brazilian ports. Uh, we have an international logistic company. Uh, we operate together with UltraTug uh, 23 offshore vessels, uh, basically PSVs. We have two offshore bases to provide a logistic support for offshore uh, in Rio de Janeiro, especially in oil and gas for uh, attended IRC companies operating uh, in Brazil. And we have two shipyards in Sao Paulo where we construct our, our tugs. Uh, we have this, this shipyard in partnership with Dami. So we have a nationwide footprint. We operate in all, almost in all, in all Brazilian major ports uh, from very south until the Amazon River. Especially when, when it comes to the towage division, we operate 80 tugboats now in the moment. Uh, third of them, we have firefighting uh, capability. Uh, so we have, we have specialized in some emergency responses here in Brazil. Uh, we do support shipyards for maritime construction. Uh, so Brazil has several shipyards specialized in construction, big, big uh, FPSOs. Uh, uh, and we, and we, we, we have a division just to take care of these operations, of these projects. And offshore projects uh, up to 200 mile nights uh, in the coast. Uh, that's the, the safety is always a concern for us. Uh, we have a partnership with DuPont since 2011, and you, can, you may see in the graph that the results are spectacular. So we have uh, bring down our LT, LTI uh, from 9.12 in 2011 to a world class uh, now in 2020, we have less than 0.5. So it's a huge, it's a proud, we are very proud to this milestone here. Uh, safety is a concern because we sell safety for our, our clients. So we have to, to, to in-house to, to be a model in, in this aspect. We do have an operation center. We control and monitor all the fleets and base in Santos. We, right now we have, uh, we, are, we are partnership with a startup here in Brazil and we are developing uh, artificial intelligence uh, tugboat dispatcher. So we have two focus here, one of the cost optimization, but the other one uh, is to reduce our greenhouse emission. Since our target boats are dispatched in a smart way, we avoid any standby time waiting for the vessel or waiting for the pilots. Uh, we are bringing to reduce almost 10% of, of, of fuel consumption. Uh, therefore, we have to reduce our, our greenhouse emissions as well. Um, we have our own private AIS network. We have over 30 antennas covering our Brazilian coast. So uh, we, we, don't, we don't rely, we don't depend on third party information. We have, we, we have our own data in-house. Uh, we have a towage training center when we train uh, our seafarers and third party seafarers as well. Uh, so we have a partnership with the Brazilian Navy to, to, to offer some courses. Um, and we have a full mission simulator. And that's, that's a, great, a, great, a great feature for us because it's allow us to, to provide this scenario for any, any project that we, we are having here in Brazil. Uh, for example, they are, a bridge, a huge, they are building a huge bridge in Northeastern Brazil. And one of our idea is to simulate how the vessel will behave, uh, the trends of the vessel will behave in the channel. Uh, 
we do have some uh, some cases in the offshore industry too. So it's an asset that we are very proud of. Uh, just to share some figures for you guys regarding Brazil, uh, despite the fact of the COVID hit Brazil in a bad way, as you guys are aware for the news, we had a good year last year. So Brazil, uh, Brazilian market relies in commodities, oil and soybean, especially in iron ore. So we have this increase in all the cargos. Uh, so uh, 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 oil, iron ore in Brazil was a spectacular year for volume. So, and you have new operations in Asu from Anglo. So they help to increase the volume uh, exporting from Brazil. To, from Brazil. And you have a, a spectacular crop of, of soybean last year. And we are, we are experiencing the same thing in this year too. So uh, despite, despite the fact of COVID, it was a good year for us in Brazil. We got important port and towage market for us. Uh, we, are, we are having now the several projects focused on dredging, uh, especially focused to bring to Brazil the container vessels over 366 meters. Uh, we have new, new terminals to be auctioned on, on these years and in the forthcoming years. Uh, so uh, from the, our point of view, uh, when, when you take consideration the whole scenario here in Brazil, we are surfing this, this wave in a smooth uh, away, in a smooth way. Uh, we started last year, we started our new operation in Santarém. Uh, it's specialized to export soybeans in off of Brazil. Uh, they, a artificial intelligence project that I told before. We are constructing uh, four new tugboats in accord with tier, two, tier three uh, European legislation. It's going to be the first Brazilian company to go into this new, uh, uh, in this new regulation here in Brazil. Uh, and this year, last year, we achieved the world-class safety by DuPont. Uh, we perform almost 60,000 maneuvers per year. Uh, and for the future, we think a lot of... Uh, I'm, I'm happy to see that Mutsu Ship has over 200 years because we, we, we used, to, used to think that we are old. We have more than 180 years operating in Brazil. Um, but we are focused a lot in innovation and sustainability uh, for the next stage of our company. We do believe that the data that is generated by our tugboats has some value uh, when you go to the ecosystem for the port. Uh, so uh, we have a, 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 a strong belief that the data is going to be uh, an asset that we, we, we will will we have some ways to build a new business model or even offer new services to, to the market, to our clients. Uh, and sustainability is our, is our agenda right now. Uh, even though Brazil uh, are not experiencing a, a, good, a good government uh, regarding environmental issue, it's a, a, it's a, a flag that we will, we will stand from now on. Uh, we have, we have seen some, some technology in the market, LNG in Brazil is not a reality yet because we have some logistic problem here to supply. Uh, but through technology, we want to try to optimize our, our operation to use our assets in a more appropriate way uh, and try to, in the same way, in the same time, try to reduce the, the fuel consumption and the, the, the greenhouse emissions as well. So then, Danai, that's the quick presentation that I have here from Wilson Sons. I'll get back to you.